Going into anything other than a traditional academic career back then was considered to be almost heretical. When Nixon declared war on cancer, it was poorly understood. Necessary, whatever is necessary for the conquest of cancer. Art Levinson was willing to challenge tradition for the chance to make an impact on this disease. But it was a mystery, and, and I've always been attached to mysteries. I very much admired, respected my dad. I listened carefully to him, and he said, ah, be inquisitive and always tell the truth. I remember that. Her Boyer and Bob Swanson had just started this crazy little company, Genentech. I asked her Boyer, what would you expect me to work on? And his answer was profound and really unusual. You did a great job as a grad student. You did a great job as a postdoc. Come to Genentech and make yourself useful. Levinson's research helped lead to a receptor, HER2, that caused a difficult form of breast cancer. The earliest genesis of Herceptin derived from an attempt to understand if human cells might carry genetic remnants of an oncogene that's present in a bird virus. So we thought, it seemed kind of naive at the time, but we thought, well, what if we were to make a monoclonal antibody that would cover up that receptor? or block it or prevent it from functioning. The Genentech team devised a receptor block and with UCLA developed the drug Herceptin, a turning point for women with this diagnosis. So that was a, a very wonderful moment for us. And those monoclonal antibodies over the next 10 to 20 years became you know, one of the most important classes of biological therapeutics and totally have revolutionized the way we treat many diseases. As head of Genentech for more than a decade, Levinson transformed the company and the industry, developing products that have saved tens of thousands of lives. I stayed at Genentech through the good and the, the more difficult time is because the science was always good. The people that worked there were terrific. And I was at the point of my life where I, I was pretty happy with my career, but also kind of eager to take on another challenge. As a little kid, I was always afraid of getting old. On my seventh birthday, I was actually sad because uh, it just seemed like, wow, seven, it's not six anymore. Today, as founder and CEO of the new Calico Labs, he's tackling another mystery. Why do we age? In the end, most diseases are going to be perfectly understandable. We'll be able to intervene in exquisitely precise ways.